How about it for Belinda Benchich, everybody? So, so nice, always nice to get revenge quickly. What, what worked best for you out there today? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I'm really happy with today's win. Uh, I definitely felt like it was a complete different match than in Miami. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought I served much better. I think maybe she didn't serve as well as in Miami and it kind of like turned around, you know, it's some some things here and there that can turn around the match, but I'm really happy. Uh, I definitely felt like still, you know, I was up all the match, but still I always felt like a little bit on the edge, you know, to keep uh, to keep the lead and uh, she's always a player that, you know, she can just turn on like this and just take your lead. So it's always, she's very dangerous always. She, she is, Belinda. At, at one point, I think you were up a set, you were up a break in the second, and she had more winners than you did, which which is crazy. I mean, it was like 12-11, but still, okay. when you're playing somebody like that, what, what is it like to stay stay in it when at any moment she can just blow the ball past you? Yeah, I mean, it's for sure, it's just a feeling that, you know, sometimes it's not even in your own hands. You know, you can, you know, do everything you can to try to make it as hard for her as possible. Uh, you know, put some good serves in, put some good body serves, you know, make the returns but <laughs> sometimes you just you know blast three winners at love 40 and then you're like starting from zero and you're like oh well okay <laughs> so uh, that's the dangerous part about her and uh, for sure I think it's just you know to put every ball back and just you know to hope sometimes that she will stay or not be so patient and uh, start to make mistakes well you did a great job you're through into the final four yet again here uh, you, you've won the title here obviously H how would you characterize your relationship with Clay, Would, are, are you in love? Is it complicated? <laughs> uh, are you just friends? <laughs> it's complicated. Um, I, I didn't really like Clay before. I felt like last year in Charleston that made me change my mind a little bit. But maybe it's also that I really like the green clay and the red clay not so much yet. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think I first have to make a good relationship here with the clay and then move on to Europe <laughs> for the red clay and also try try to do better there. So it's, it's tricky for me, but I feel like uh, Charleston with the green clay is always a good transition uh, for me from the hard courts to the clay. Well, you're on a heck of a winning streak here in Charleston on the green clay, so that, that's something special. <laughs> Lindsay mentioned uh, during the match that you're no longer working with Dmitry Tursunov. So here with Martin uh, and kind of on your own. So what, what can you learn from obviously being very successful, kind of playing on your own? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely a different feeling, but of course, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm the player, I have to, you know, think on the court. Sometimes I'm overthinking, like in uh, my match last night, I felt today was a little bit better. Sometimes just, you know, shut up and do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think about anything and just hit the ball to the court. Sometimes I feel like I'm, I make tennis more complicated than it is, but uh, uh, yeah. Can, can certainly be a, a learning experience. A lot of times we see you looking to, to your player box or, or talking to your player box. W what's the best way to cheer for you? So for anybody <laughs> that's in your player box, what do they need to do? What are you looking for from them? I mean, I know it looks very harsh probably, but you know, I just, you know, I'm looking for a confirmation for something to give to me. Like, okay, even though uh, I just did a mistake, but was it a good mistake? You know, some just sometimes uh, like this. And I, I really have a great connection with my boyfriend. He knows how I am on the court and he feels you know like if I'm nervous or if I'm too loose or too excited so he can definitely you know do a lot from the box as well and uh, I of course I try not to look so much and like not to not to kind of yeah over put, put any negativity <laughs> there right any, yeah exactly but sometimes it's really a way to like vent myself yeah. not at them but usually I'm telling them like I'm such an idiot. Like, can you see it? <laughs> and they understand. And they're like, no, you're not. You're doing great, Belinda. You're well, doing great. <laughs> well, one, one of your good friends, uh, Roger Federer, just put out uh, a film with Trevor Noah. I'm not yeah. sure if you saw it for the tour of Switzerland. He's yeah. an actor now. What did you think of that? Oh, my God. I feel like he's an amazing actor. <laughs> I think soon we're going to see him in some movie or something. Um, I felt that was so much fun. And when you're a Swiss person, you exactly understand the humor behind it. You know how the train is on time. You know how you can never like uh, ride without a ticket. It's like the worst crime in Switzerland. <laughs> no one ever does it. And uh, it was really so much fun. I watched the whole video with a big smile on my face. <laughs> Can we expect maybe a cameo from you in a, in a future tour of, of Switzerland? Uh, what are your favorite places to that you would you would go on on um, a train tour? I mean, I definitely love the mountains. It's really uh, a great place for me to get energy from. And so I love to be in Switzerland. Like there's so many lakes and forests and mountains and nature is just beautiful there. So. Uh, yeah, it's always my, my uh, when I'm feeling a bit down, it's my place to go. 
Mm. Roger Federer gets the A plus from Belinda for for acting here in, in that tour of Switzerland. <laughs> we we both can. I, lo I love the necklace. You, you, you like the bracelets. We're, we're Van Cleef sisters, brothers, sisters. Bro brothers and sisters. Uh, what 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 can you? What, what's the next jewelry? What, what's on your wish list? Oh, I mean, don't really have a wish list right now. Uh, I'm really happy with what I have right okay. now. Um, but always, you know, I I kind of always put like a rewards list. Um, for me, you know, when I do well in tournaments, um, especially, you know, in Grand Slams, I, I just put like things that I like into the wish list and then I make like a list. Okay, if you win your first round, you get this. And then like gradually, obviously, okay. it gets more and more expensive, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I, I do like shopping, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of great yeah, shopping in Charleston. but only when I win. Like when I lose, I'm like, I cannot buy anything. I don't deserve it. Right, you have to earn it. You have, you have to earn the gift. All right, up next, it, it's either Jessica Pagula or Paola Bedosa. What are your thoughts on those two? Well, it's a high-quality match. Um, definitely, it's going to be fun to watch tonight, for sure. And, uh, I mean, Jess is just as solid as ever. She's like, I feel like she's in the quarterfinal in every single tournament. It's like, <laughs> it's not even funny anymore. And uh, Paola is always a high-quality opponent, and I played her here last year. So, um, I think it's going to be a very good match. Uh, hopefully, I can bring out my best and uh, you know show the best for the fans here. Hopefully, they battle for three hours and, and you're you're yeah. just relaxing, eating your sushi. <laughs> exactly. And get, get, I hope getting so. ready. <laughs> All right, hopefully how about it's gonna it for... rain and then they're not gonna play. <laughs> right, right. Belinda Bencic, your returning champion, back into the semifinals here in Charleston. Congratulations on the win today. Thank best you. Best of luck going forward. Thanks a lot. Always good to see Belinda Bencic on our tennis channel desk as she is moving on.